<laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. This was supposed to be the start of a wonderful, beautiful story of entrepreneurial opportunity and networking when you would least expect it. About a month ago, I go to my local Barnes and Noble and I see this book in the business section. The Little Red Book of Selling by Jeffrey Goodemer. One of his suggestions is to go join a local Toastmasters, Toastmasters being an international public speaking club, and to pick up the skills you learn there and use them in other aspects of your life wherever it may best suit you. I go there for the first time, I have a great time, and I start talking and networking with the people, and one of the guys there is a doctor, and he said, hey, I like, I like the story of how you got here. You know what, you know what books I think you'd like? This book on rhetoric, called The Elements of Eloquence, and this book on selling, called To Sell is Human. And I said, oh, thank you, man. Fast forward one week and I'm in Ohio. I'm, in, I'm at a Barnes and Noble there, and out of nowhere, it starts raining cats and dogs. So I go over to the window thinking, whoa, where did this rain come from? And then behind me, I hear a voice from a woman. And she says, where did this rain come from? And I said, yo, that's what I was thinking. And we start talking. Then she asks what, what books I'm holding. And I show her this one, and then I show her this one. And her eyes just And she says, oh, are you in sales? Yeah, I'm in sales. And she says, oh, oh I, I gotta talk to you about these other books. I recommend, uh, this one has a long ass title. How I Raised Myself from Failure to Success in Selling and Go for No. You should pick up these books as well. And, and, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So we start talking a little bit more. And then she tells me that she has this whole network of financial mentors. And that they're looking for, for people to pass on their skills to. And she said, you know what, Gilbert? It's very refreshing, her words, it's very refreshing to see someone your age with a success mindset. I think that you would be a great a great student for these mentors, especially because we're in Ohio and you're in Texas. We don't want you to compete with us. <laughs> Five days later, she gives me a call and she says, hey, so I was talking about you to my husband and he also agrees that you'd make a great, great candidate to be a student for one of these mentors. Our mentor is named so-and-so, blah, 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 blah. Uh, they, they go on saying the details about this mentor and how cool he is and how much they've learned from him. Allegedly. <laughs> and then they said, uh, we're gonna FaceTime you tomorrow if that's cool with you, uh, just so we could get more information about you and you can learn a little bit more about us. And we spent one hour having a great talk about our backstories, getting to know each other. And then towards the last few minutes, it was basically an impromptu interview. And one of the questions was a total sucker punch, a bamboozle. They asked me what I thought about network marketing. So I said, oh yes, networking is great because you get to learn how other people do things differently and how you do things differently from them and maybe you two could stay in touch, and learn from each other and grow together. Keep that word in mind, network marketing. And then the husband asked me if I read anything by Robert Kiyosaki. And I said, oh, of course, I love Rich Dad Poor Dad. I love what he has to say. And he said, oh, great, great, great. So we're gonna send you this book in the mail called Business of the 21st Century, also by Robert Kiyosaki. And I said, oh, great, yeah. Fuck yeah, Kiyosaki, great. Before this thing shows up in my mailbox, I decided to Google it. Innocent reason, I just wanted to see what the cover looked like. The third Google result said an S word, a four letter S word, a four letter S word that is dirtier than the word shit. Scam. As it turns out, there are dozens of stories on the internet where someone goes out in public minding their own business when out of nowhere they get approached by a random, attractive, successful looking and energetic person. The common factor for all these, they all ask you to read this book 
The Business of the 21st Century by Robert Kiyosaki. And eventually, you get lured into joining the multi-level marketing scheme Amway. I say that I got bamboozled because I have always been a strong opponent way before John Oliver was talking about it. I've always been a strong opponent of pyramid schemes, multi-level marketing, vector marketing, however you want to call it. This shit is bullshit. 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 I didn't know that network marketing was another word for it. I thought that they were talking about networking. This is what a network looks like. This is you. These are the people that work that work and collaborate with you and here are their first contacts. And ideally, like I said, you two grow and learn from each other. That's how it's always been done. But network marketing looks like this. Does this look familiar? This is bullshit. This is unsustainable. Oh, one more thing. This is sold to you you're gonna be this guy when in reality you're one of these stupid pawns that get leached off of these guys who get leached off of these guys who get leached off of these guys and the guy on top leeches off of everybody below this is bullshit this is oh my god this is ah! <laughs> Robert Kiyosaki why you have been a disappointment because he spent a whole chapter on Rich Dad Poor Dad saying, oh, it's great. You should think like a Texan. Texans are always win, and when they lose, they embrace it and they learn from it. I said, oh, yes, I love you, Robert. And now he comes up with this shit, which looks like it was written in a rush, by the way. And he spends half of the book saying how great network marketing is. And... Maybe it is if you're at the top, but the people who get asked to read this are never going to be at the top. But here's the thing. They don't know that I know it's a scam. Oh, it's them. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey, no worries, no worries. I do not have pets. No pets. Uh, what about goldfish? Goldfish? No. Um, so you got the book. Do you, do you finish reading? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. So what were some of the things that stood out to you from, from reading that? Uh, <laughs> the last half of it, it kind of talks about something that I was, uh, um, that I said I was a little bit against the last time we talked. Uh, and I didn't know that network marketing was another word for multi-level marketing. Yeah. It, it sounds so great if you're up here, but I don't want to be one of the guys down here. And, and even in Toastmasters, I, I'm glad that y'all inspired me to actually look for mentors. Over there, there's a guy who's into stocks. There's a guy who's into real estate. There's a guy who's in the small business administration. And I'm in cahoots with them. <laughs> I'm still not buying it. Cause I, I, I really, like I said, I really don't like the idea of multi-level marketing, network marketing. They took it very well. I'm not sure if they're trained to respond to commonly, uh, commonly given criticisms of people who are a little bit against this. <sighs> I could have used that one hour, and so to read, read books that 
would actually serve to use their ideas to get profit. Still, though, I am curious as to what one of these uh, sessions look, what one of these look like. I am going to watch it just to look at the public speaker and what they, how they, how they present themselves in order to persuade an audience. That's what I'm going to watch it for and strictly for that reason alone. I am just doing this so y'all could be aware. So until next time, have a good one. Take care. Kick ass.